Hello everybody, it's the Great British Gamer and well, we're going to continue with Centro 4. So let's do it as three. That's any weird. Anyway. <laughs> I believe I did the whole Mr. Genki thing and whatnot last time, I believe. Yeah. Oh, bits and bobs. Oh. Let's see. I gotta be honest, I kinda like the design of this ship actually. I'm gonna be honest. I do. I need help inserting a virus into the simulation, among other things. Do this, and I will reward you. Do not do this, and you will get nothing. Understand? Yeah, I got it. Why does everybody look at me as if I will kill them in their sleep? I am glad Kinsey was able to find me a body in the real world as well. This is much more satisfying. I am surprised your planet did not have a stronger defense system against intergalactic attacks. Perhaps that is why you were so easily conquered. I would tell you the secret of curing any disease. However, I do not know what I would ask for as compensation yet. And no, I do not take IOUs. Smart. I am glad Very Kinsey smart. was able to find me a body in the real world as well. This is much more satisfying. All right, Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. Um, well, maybe... Don't worry. I'm fully equipped to pleasure you. <laughs> okay, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, but my mechanical body needs time to cool down first. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> anyway. I need a stable environment to work from inside the simulation. There's several things you can do around Brixton so I can set it up. Also, I should be able to create an upgrade to your blast with this. Sure, why not? Well, I could sit here and talk with you, or keep anything on this ship from exploding and killing us all. Your choice. Look, I'm really busy here. Hey, Kinsey, you want to fuck? Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that now. You have to wait till I want it. <laughs> anyway. Just rolling around, doing nothing, really. Is that a... It is a blow, doll, isn't it? 
Letters from Santa, okay. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to do something with those later. Why not? Go with my anime the whole Miller thing. Oh, no. Walk me oh, through how Sid is gonna help us free Matt. Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know he can help, but it's Matt Miller. We need all the help we can get. How do we get him? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. This should be a fucking adventure. any longer than that. Get you in the alien distance. I was gonna do the whole thing, but these guys just kept shooting me, so I feel obligated to uh, murder them. So. Always feels good to kick ass. Oh, another dude. That one doesn't work. Get back over. We'll show up. <laughs> I'm doing a pretty good job of just standing there doing this, really. Ow! 
You fuck boy. <laughs> Damn it. I just reckon he said to front for my dude when he do it. Giving you tips for that, kill me. Yeah, suck it, bitch. Things are exploding, remember? Machine buttons. <laughs> So much for difficult. So yeah, killed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm supposed to be doing now. Spoon for a fair distance. No. High pass speed, motherfuckers. Superhero pose. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Dude, it's Keith David. When you're Please go. Are you? Juliet, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any less advice I'll understand. Don't get killed. Gotcha. Why is every time I turn on this game, it has to tell me that Carl doesn't want <laughs> <laughs> that I know, Philip. Proclaimed hacker god ran all the cyber terrorism for the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does.
can give me a gun any time, Kinsey. Well, you don't have superpowers either. Jesus Christ, Kinsey. Why the fuck are there words in my face? It's a command prompt. Just give me a second. No clip. <laughs> this brings back memories. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. We just have to deal with it. Fucking eighties. <laughs> this out there, but uh, I don't want to be staring at the ground for the rest of my life. I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Crap. Hey. Ah, crap. No. Yeah. 3D? Don't you dare hit enter, Kinsey! Oops. Sorry. Finger slipped. I love this stuff. This is awesome. <laughs> oh, thank God. There should be three data towers controlling the security to Matt's prison. Finally, I get to just blow shit up. Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. Yes. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> three times, Zinyak. Try to keep up. All the same. What is it you hope to accomplish? Mr. Miller is beyond your help. We'll see about that. <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. No problem. Die, Trump people! Seriously, there's literally just that one guy. Oh wait, no, there was two of them. Hey, yeah, yeah, screw them. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of firepower. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh, oh, touche. That's two. One more to go. Yeah. Now you're still kind of on my virtual shit list, Kinsey. For what? Last time we were in cyberspace, you turned me into a set stall. God, are you still mm -hmm. mad about that? You said I was sorry. You gave me access to the webcam you set up in Viola's room. That's not an apology, that's creepy. Ah! Uh, there we go. My controls are going to be weird. <laughs> But yeah, that is pretty creepy kind of stuff. I love action. Can't you even enjoy a creepy shit? This tower, then we grab Matt. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hey, hang on, I'll find a workaround. Okay. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we need to move not to black. Back me okay. up, Kinsey. Wait, let me try something. <laughs> you are no <new>. Okay. <laughs> and you do. I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Uh, this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out. 
Street Captain. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. Stop monologuing. No <laughs> it is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury. Signifying. Thanks for sharing your high school poetry. It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I thought that was uh, superhero monologue, uh, super villain monologue, should I say. It's pretty good actually. Okay, that was the thing that happened. Anyway. Bouncing off wall sometimes helps. Oh. I see a ramp. I must jump. Most of the time. Yeah. You're coming up on Max Prison. How am I going to start a prison break without a gun? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Wing it. Great. Hmm. What can go wrong? Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help you either. Fuck me running. <laughs> Fuck! Before you... Definitely, I bit music. Oh, yeah. ...and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity or its absolute destroyer. What am I looking at? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? <laughs> because you used a rocket in place of a bullet? Because you <laughs> wouldn't submit to my rule? In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you. It. Now, I know the red door is bullshit. Woo! <laughs> Ignore me dancing around a Ric Flair. <laughs> I know the red door is bullshit. But fuck it, <laughs> I'm gonna go through the red door. Just for funsies. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's ruffled. <laughs> okay, uh, we can now skip through that shit. <laughs> I know, I know. I even got a trophy for it, but. Uh, <laughs> So, will you choose a path to extinction, or will you sacrifice yourself as a savior? Ours is not to reason why, ours is but to do or die. 
Make your choice. Ooh, what am I looking at? This is your life as it led you to this. Yeah, but now body gonna side walk using bucket launches it's and stuff. It's total bullshit that you could only carry two hundred pounds of bison and meat. Wait, is that math? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand in a cyber world he can't control. Matt, stay <laughs> calm. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Hey, I was born in the 90s, okay? <laughs> Back when people had these computers. <laughs> oh my empire. Wow. Empty space and a purple star. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. Ah yes. I'm quite proud of this one. Why? What is it? Terror. As personified by your literary culture. A dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. Why does the pirate have a raven? <laughs> Pet the pirate. <laughs> Is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Yes. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. I can deal with anything you throw at me, buddy. Make a coconut fair deal, okay. It was easier than expected. Sadly, you have no other plans in a block. Right. Make a house. We don't have already now. <laughs> no, it's that fit. <laughs> All right, pick up the phone and dial yourself out, Matt. Right, Matt. Do this. You know what I mean to a full sense of secure here. <laughs> Punch him. Cry. <laughs> Punch him again. Punch him again. <laughs> Phone. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You need help getting out, and you're the commander in chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kinsey, come on! Can't I get some payback? <laughs> Lost, big deal. Or he got a little dead, who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. Is that does that look really weird? <laughs> Can 
You're really making a big deal out of nothing. This is a great opportunity for him to build character. Kinsey, this is not the time for a teachable moment. If we don't help Matt, he will die. Fine, take this. Oh. <laughs> I was talking to the robot. It's power yeah. armor. Same thing. Not really. A robot is an automaton. Whereas power. Don't ruin this cave. Yeah, cave. For once, be quiet. So I'm trying to watch you. Quick. Whoops. Are you breaking my power armor? No. If you do damage the power armor, you can find repair kits in some of the storage crates. Tell me more about the guns on this thing. Oh, um, I didn't have time to get them working, so... Pretty lame, Kinsey. I found you power Very armor. Lame. I don't suppose you got a way to get this robot through the door, do you? Ugh. Oh my god, this is the real world. I can't just waggle my fingers and, oh look, Kinsey, you weave worlds like a gun for the brush. Just asking. Oh, battery never is now. <laughs> I know hacking's out, but there has to be another way through this door. Brute force work. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. You take care of what's there, and I'll make sure they don't alert the others. Robot slash pair armor. <laughs> I can't wait to show this thing to Pierce. Go away. That's for the point you shoot him bastard. Something happened here. One of the pods is broken. Any chance that's the one Matt was in? Maybe. Hard to tell. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't mind me, guys. There's no way to fight a lady. I already killed 200. Nah, don't hurt me, please. 
I'm a friend. About the time I was rescued, oh, you wouldn't believe what they have. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they have robots. Can you believe Kinsey keeps calling this thing power armor? So, not a robot? It's a robot. <laughs> Firepower does that make happen? Kinsey said the guns are missing stuff. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. Give me a moment to find the parts. So, I totally knew you were going to find that one. Very sensible, very clear, shy line with that guy. That was fun. Yeah, horrible job of defending your mother, but still, it worked. Set you up. This will be much different than any other weapon you're used to. It's a gun arm, man. I think I can figure it out. It's more than just a gun. Be right there. Keep your head down, Miller. Keep coming. You're gonna die here. I know it. You can't last much longer, Kinsey. Thank you. Damn it, I missed you.
Should I be nerding call it a good one? Section. Oh, now you play video games. Shouldn't you be good at this? Yes, if your aim was any worse, you'd be shooting yourself. Yeah, yeah, true. Must tell Keith about this later. That is Mr. Keith David to you. True. It is Mr. Keith David. That weird section in um, Mass Effect 3 where you shoot the Reaper but you don't need to, you just sit there and do nothing. <laughs> Kenzie, where is that giant ship? I'm not sure! Now you're too low, I can't shoot you! Yeah. This is what being a sociopath feels like. It's not really sociopathic. Very true, it's not really, is it? Not really so shock up here if they're trying to kill you. Maybe it is no. Um... You disappeared then, didn't you? But anyway. <laughs> I don't want to sound needy or anything, but I just blew up a capital ship. You'd think someone could at least give me a high five. Yes. Need to take a look at this. A plane? Why would Zinyak want to build one of those? We're in deep space. It has to be another prison. Whose idea of hell is being trapped on an aeroplane? <laughs> me, Shandi, and. Oh my god. Shit. Johnny's alive. But what? Johnny's dead. Who else would be stuck in a plane? Shandi? It was a life-defining moment for her. It's the only thing that makes sense. You're wrong. I think she's making a lot of sense. She's wrong! Find out where this is. We're getting my best friend back. Hell yeah! Oh, there. 